Also, I love the fact that I have 1% of Gambit playtime and I go, it's not low enough. Mm -hmm. Versus your, yours was a lot lower than I expected. I'm efficient. Get in, get out. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Destiny, you seem really quiet. <laughs> Maybe it's just that Corbin's loud. Yep, I'm so loud. But yes, Exorcism is a great mission. Have you done any banner yet? No, I did the moon stuff that I didn't want to forget about. I... What else did I do? I did go into the Pit of Heresy and I was on... I was doing it flawlessly. And then... I literally just jumped off the map unprompted. I came from somewhere close to a cliff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll just jump back down there when I'm done. And I just jumped in the complete wrong spot. And there was nothing there to catch me. That's pretty funny. And I was like, oh well, this is my first try. I wasn't too worried about it. I think Pit is by far the e I just punched a cursed thrall. Uh by far the easiest to complete solo. Yeah. My only concerns is like the room where you can't dupe the ball anymore, like just living in that room. Uh, and I don't think living in the boss room is going to be as big of an issue, but it could be. So, I started running well about halfway through it, after, and in the first area, I'm confident enough to use bottom tree. I was about to say, I figure you using well in there would actually do good. Make it actually easy. It's not too bad. I like the instant healing of Phoenix Dive, but healing with the grenade is good too. You get an overshield too with the grenade, so... Yeah, it's just about how often I can get it back. I guess that is true. And now use heavy balls. I was already using those, what do you mean? I can't throw them for crap. So how are you liking Arceus? I'm having fun. I have not played it much since I got it, but it seemed like a lot of fun. It seemed unique enough. Yeah, yeah brother. I'm gonna have to figure out how to switch my team up. I seem to have to go to the farm. The farm? The farm? Yeah, I gotta put down my golden retriever at the farm. Look at all these dead Corsairs. I mean, they are just... mortals. You did see those, all like the dead ones, right? Yeah. I have dropped exactly zero frames. Because of course you would. Uh, do you have time after this or something I could use your help with? Literally, I got sucked from the future here. I have nothing but time. This is my new purpose. Is to do whatever you say, I guess. You have no home to go to. My mom is in clinical depression right now because she thinks her child has been kidnapped. Hey, your mom's technically not alive. Well, if you... Hold the view that all time is happening at the same time. 
Oh, well. And I don't know what point in the future that I go back to, if I go back at all. Or is it the present in an alternate area? Dun, dun, dun. Well, well, everything they've said is, you've gone back in time. You've gone back in time. So I'm just going with that. For I mean, it is the origin forms of Palky and Giratina, so... Which are wild looking. Let's be real here. Should I use the barrel or Floatzel? Floatzel. Come on. Don't use that meme of a Pokemon. Did I catch a big Buizel? I will update my team on the layout. Also, I threw the idea into the Discord of using, or of trying to do a Petra's run before Witch Queen. So, this Saturday. Yeah, are you okay with that? Does that work with you? Yeah, it should. It's just like, kind of running out of options before Witch Queen. I know. The dude has already done 20 matches of Iron Banner today. That's like four hours. And only lost three of them. Is there an easy way I can look at the two foot four inch weasel? How big are you two? Two foot eight? Two foot one? Show him you. Aww, he is a little bigger. Look at Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Does that mean does that mean if we could get a whale lord into Legends Arceus? What would happen, Corbin? I don't know. I know Alpha Pokemon are literally the maximum size they can be. <laughs> Well, but those are special Pokemon. We're talking about a Pokemon who is naturally big. Well, that's, that's like any Pokemon that is the maximum size when randomly spawning is also going to be an alpha Pokemon, as far as I know. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Like, the others will be close, but I think... Either... The alpha Pokemon is the only way to get the max size, or if it is the max size, it will be alpha. I'm not sure how the logic flows. Gotcha. What are you? I am a human. The trading post. What is a merit point? Also, did you watch the Super Bowl? Uh, yes and no. I was at a party where we watched it, but I was mostly talking about Pokemon. More importantly, did you watch the halftime show? It was good. I'm like, sort of, I feel like Eminem was lip syncing because his voice sounded like the younger version of himself. Mm, I mean... What is I this? don't know the answer to that one. What I didn't know is that freaking Snoop and Eminem are the same age. Yeah. Oh, I say same age. Freaking Snoop was 50 and Eminem was 49. Like, excuse me? Yeah. They both be killing life, though. They just doing their thing. I'm not sure if it's wise for me to spend money on crafting material. Also, speaking of games, there is a game you and I need to play. And it's called Rounds. 
I feel like you and I can have some stupid fun with that game. Oh uh, yeah? Would you be down for playing that game? It costs money? It costs like five bucks. Then maybe. You know Stick Fight? That game, that weird game? I'm pretty sure. It's like that, but with guns now. Like, it's similar. I've been watching people play it, and it is hilarious. Stick Fight is that one. It's set up like a platform fighter, and then like random things spawn, and there are hazards. Like random weapons spawn. Mm-hmm. But in this, it's just like, hey, you're given a card, or a set of five cards, that you can't change that limit. Some are rare, some are not rare. That's like, oh, you now have five bullets in your gun instead of three. Or a fun one, that is. The further your bullet travels, the bigger it gets and the more damage it does. And those stack. Communi uh, communicatively? There we go. Communicatively. Communicatively? They gave you Pikachu back his actual cry. That's awesome. Using his voice was not a good decision. It wasn't a good decision because they only did it for him. Well, Evie had hers too, but I'm glad they both. Because I don't want them to say their names in the game. Well, She's battling not? me with just Pikachu, and I have a full team of six. This does not seem fair. Seems like they're just not good. They aren't. Apparently, I'm the only person on the entire planet that knows how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I picked up on that. And they're like, oh, you already catch like three Pokemon, and the person's like, what? Oh. Like, sir. I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> the guy's like, you look 15 years old. I'm like, I'm almost 25, sir. <laughs> please, please don't make me remember that. I should know, right? <laughs> Every time I think about it, I'm like, uh oh. Yours is closer than mine. Yeah. Will you remember my birthday this year? <laughs> Will I have to quit a job? <laughs> I always remember giving you such crap, and you're like, bruh, I was quitting my job and leaving on the day of your birthday. <laughs> like, give me a break. <laughs> I just always found it funny that you just happened to be leaving the same day. <laughs> was dying. But also living my best life as soon as I got in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm kind of tired of being like, oh, you're the guy from the past? Let me talk to you. I'm like, no, I want to catch a Pokemon and run around. I don't want to have responsibilities. I yeah, literally dude. have already used a strong and agile style move. Please do not tell me how to use them. I literally used them in the battle I just completed. Strong and agile. Was that sarcasm? No. If your Pokemon masters a move, you can choose to use it in an agile way or a power way. And agile means you'll get to go again sooner. And strong just does more damage, but you'll go again later. It, like changes the priority of your moves and damage. Well, it sounds like a stab and priority situation. Well, it's your choice. You can do one or the other on any move that your Pokemon masters. Mm hmm. So this guy wants a Wurmple, and I've seen that you can give him a shiny Wurmple, so I'm going to do it. Does it make a difference to give him a shiny Wurmple? No, but I, it'll stay in the overworld. Like, he'll have the Wurmple by his side. And it'll actually be shiny? Yeah. As far as I'm aware. Which, like, it's Wurmple, I don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's freaking Wurmple. I will find as many shiny Wurmples as I need to. What's up, Cynthia, boy, girl, human? 
What? The Cynthia's ancestor is the mercantile guy. Or girl. I'm still not sure. What are you attempting to say? <laughs> this is Cynthia's ancestor. Like, everyone in the game is someone's ancestor, essentially. From Diamond and Pearl, oh, or the other okay. game. And this is Cynthia. I'm pretty sure it's a dude, though. I'm sure with that. So, like, including what's-his-face from Team Galactic? Yeah, the Silene, the leader of your squad, is his ancestor. Shocker. And then Professor Rowan oh. is Amado. Bro, so I just he's literally telling me to do things I did for f an hour. It's like, if you throw your Pokeball at the back of a Pokemon, it does better. Like, that was literally what I did the whole time I was out here. Please stop. I need mushrooms. Also, I love the fact that you're essentially working for the bad people. Or who I assume are the bad people. Are they the bad people? I think it's just supposed to be, like... You know what Team Galactic turns into. It started out as something good, but got corrupt. Gotcha. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure when the point is, because I thought Pokemon respawned, like, quite frequently. But I don't know, maybe that doesn't happen until you do, like, all the preliminary quests, or what? I don't get things respawning unless I walk away. I learned about shiny hunting in this game, and it's ridiculous, and I can't wait to actually do it. But I don't know at what point I will be able to do all that how stuff. Do you, how do you shiny hunt? Have you gotten an outbreak yet? I am not that far into it. I don't know what? when you're able to get outbreaks. But, like, a lot of Pokemon, special Pokemon even, uh, pop up in a certain area and it'll show up on your map when one's happening. There, it's like a... I forget what the odds are. Maybe it's like 1 in 500 for an outbreak. It's a, a table and it's like 10 to 12 Pokemon deep and then the table goes two-dimensional also like with columns. And like, your shiny Pokemon's like predetermined in that table. So if you save at the camp and then fly to your outbreak, you'll see like 10 to 12 Pokemon and like then they'll stop spawning. And if you don't get the shiny, reset, go to Jubilife City and then back to your camp and save again. And you'll like move a column over in that table. And so, like, that you get, you get, like, wild. you get 12, basically, new spawns in that table, but it's the same outbreaks, essentially. But if you just, like, reset and go back to that outbreak, you will get exactly the same 12 Pokemon or whatever. You have to, I guess, go, I guess going to Jubilife is what progresses it further. I saw the data on that, and it was cool. Because... The way I understand it, 
the overworld just works in a similar way. All of your Pokemon are predetermined, so if you save at your camp, go and look at everything in, I don't know, like a 50 meter radius and reset, you're going to see the exact same Pokemon. Because it was predetermined, like, once you got to the to the camp. Interesting. My favorite graphical thing is the sky. Reminds me of Attack on Titan's opening theme songs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit random, but it's probably akin to any anime. But I've been watching Attack on Titan most recently, so I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing, but that doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. I like being unsure if I can walk somewhere or not. <laughs> like, uh, maybe. This is you we're talking about. If you're unsure, you're gonna force it. I do know, like, if you do hit the edge of the world, like, an invisible wall pops up or... Like, boo, fog or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But you, you're supposed to be able to understand when you've hit the edge of the world. But, uh, a data miner showed that your room in the future is a room in the game. It's just not, like, accessible at all in the game. He just found it in the files. And, like, forced it, forced, he forced himself to spawn in there. And, like, you can walk around, but nothing's physical, really. Got a lot of neat details, but... That's about it. But people are already talking like DLC for this game. I'm just like, but I haven't caught everybody a hundred times. Let's say the fact that you have to catch so many Pokemon, it's just like, all right, calm down. I, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. I'll probably be stuck in the first area until I, like, catch every single Pokemon that I can. Drifloon got a new move. I just love how quick catching things is and how quick experience getting is. They better keep some of these things for the rest of time. I hear people are like, we want a lot more games like Arceus. People are already like, the next star the next one's gonna be Legend Celebi, and here's why. Like, just enjoy this one. I don't care. It's been out for a, like ten days.
You should know that people aren't happy until they get what they want exactly, and then they're not going to be happy. We'll suck. We want a Diamond and Pearl remake. Give us a Diamond and Pearl remake. Okay, here's a Diamond and Pearl remake. No, not like that. Not that one. The other one. And then people saw the concept art for uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, and they were like, that's what it should have looked like. I'm like, they didn't do that because Legends Arceus was coming out. They had two games that looked exactly the same. One of them would not sell well. It's like y'all would have complained about either Arceus or Pearl, or Diamond and Pearl, and it's just like... People are dumb. That's all it is. Just people are dumb. I know. Well, now that I've started playing this, I don't want to do anything else for like the next 24 hours, so... <laughs> Here we are. Throwing stuff at Badoo. Oh wait, it's not a wild munchlax. That is clearly someone's munchlax. Corbin, I know it's the past and people don't know how to catch Pokemon, but that doesn't mean stealing other people's. They probably don't have that protection yet. I probably could steal. I mean, honestly, it would make sense that you could, that could work. Let's be real here. I thought it through. Have you watched Pokemon Origins? About, like, actually red and blue? The... I know they came out with new ones, right? Yeah, Pokemon Origins is the name of it, and it's about Red and Blue's journey through Kanto. There's like five episodes. Yes. Yeah, I was just watching it in like the first episode. <laughs> Red's like catching everything he sees, and then some kid throws out a Nidoran, and he throws a Pokeball at it <laughs> while they're trying to battle. He's like, oh cool, a Nidoran. <laughs> and the kid's like, what are you doing? Wait. Aren't these old, though? Yeah, they're pretty old. Uh, probably, like, at least two years old. I just hadn't watched okay. them. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. It's been a while, but... I just find it so funny. <laughs> How ignorant Red is. Start. Oh, come on, sweet. He's like, yeah, I'll just catch literally everything I see, and that's what I'm doing. I saw someone tweet, like, now I understand why there was a 30 episode hiatus between badges in the Pokemon anime. He's like, I, would, I am literally wandering around aimlessly, like Ash does. I'm just chunking Pokeballs. Oh, come on. I'm coming up. Whoa. <laughs> Drip loon. Uh -oh. What do you know? Ghost Pokemon can disappear. Makes sense. What? Stendic will wake up, you ding dong. Wait, used hypnosis on an already sleeping Pokemon and it worked? Once again, Corbin, this is the past. They don't know how things work. I, I attacked while 
being hypnosis? What is... I clearly don't understand mechanics anymore. It's like paralysis. I can either be too drowsy to move or I can attack. What the heck? That's... That's not how hypnosis works. I don't know, man. I'll take it, I guess. It looked like it was gonna wear off. Like sleep usually does. Strange. <laughs> 